All right, so in today's video, we're going to learn how to convert the React application into React PWA. So, and here is the demo look like. So this is just a simple React app that using create React apps. And as you can see right here, I convert this one into PWA and I have installed that into my uh, desktop. And as you can see right here, there's an icon of our application. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing first that you need to do, you need to go into the create React app documentation. So, and then please, I leave the link in the description as well, so you can go that, and then you copy this link. So this link, uh, this command right here, just create React apps. So this is the name of your apps. And then we just provide a template that uh, we want to work with PWA. So this is all the, this command do. And please go ahead and do that. So once you have done that, you can open with any ticket that you want. In my case, I'm open this one with Visual Studio Code. And then you can see this service worker that is being generated by that template. So you don't have to care about this, all of this stuff. So all you need to care is uh, the index.js right here. So we can see the service worker registration. And to convert this one to PWA, all you need to do, you need to do this. Uh, unregister to register. So to check if it's working or not, you can build this one. So please go ahead and do that. So in my case, I'm using yawn, so I can yawn run build. You can do npm run build, it's, it's fine as well. So after that, I'm gonna run surf build this one. So if you, haven't, if you haven't installed this one, so you can please install this one, so you can check it, uh, your uh, production. So this one, you can go localhost 5000, and there you go. So when you can see the plus sign right here, it means like we do it correctly. All right. So the next thing is I'm going to show you how to uh, change the icon right here. So to do that, uh, so to change this one, you need to go into public and go to manifest. And this is the existing image. So we're going to replace an image with our, our image. So first I'm going to remove this guy and then uh, to get the image you can go into this website at least the link in the description. So this is just manifest uh, generator and then you go ahead and choose your logo and then you give the information that is needed. So then I'm click download this one. So after that and I go open here, I'm going to close this one, this one. So this is the image that we just generated and I just drag and drop this one. All right, so next I'm gonna change this name to logo 192, and this one is going to be the logo, all right, let's see, logo 512, okay. So after that, so the name is going to match right here, so that's why I'm just changing the name outside right here. And the next thing is we're gonna change this one favorite icon so this is the React app. So I'm gonna uh, close this one, uh, delete this one, and I'm gonna take the image in my desktop and put it right here. All right. So then I'm gonna rename this one to faveicons.ico. All right. And so as you can see right here, we need to have exactly same file. This one, since my this image that I taking this one is, is 64 by 64. If the your image is not much the size right here, it's not going to uh, generate the PWA for you correctly. So I think that's pretty much it. So after this done, all you need to do, you can close your server uh, right here, and then you need to build it again. All right. So after you get build, and then you can you can check it, and you can run this one again. So I'm gonna run so build again. So now we go ahead and to our, this one and refresh this one. And as you can see, we change our logo. And I forgot to mention about the name. So if you want to change the name, you can, uh, we have the short name and the name right here. You can change your, to your app's name as well. And also the seams color and the background color, it's just it's the color that initial load. And then you can, for in my case, I don't care like without this one. If you want, you can change this one as well. All right, I think that's pretty much it. So right now you can install this one. So I think this is it for this video and I hope you that you can learn something from this one. All right, so see you guys next video.